Hello everyone, Gatsun here, back doing another video for you guys today. So, um, today, as you can see, I'm back and I'm playing some more Horizon Zero Dawn. The freaking That's interesting. Huh. Um, trying to buy some more, um, some more just regular stuff. Oh, uh, what's that dude? He wants a business arrangement with me. I ran out of these the last game because uh, I was fighting that gigantic crossball thing that looked like a bear. So I'm trying to get a bunch of these going. Um, probably going to stop at about 300, but my plan today is kind of just to do some more story quests up here. Uh, I might talk to this guy who apparently wants to talk to me about some sort of business arrangement. I don't really know exactly what he's going to want, but um, probably can't hurt too much to talk to him, right? Man, that actually takes a lot of your, uh, shards to do that. But, that's fine, because I've got stuff I can sell. This was from doing all of the, um... Uh, what do you call it? The, uh, lodge tests. That's what these are from. Um... So, I'm gonna go ahead and sell some of these. I don't really need a lot of those either. Oh yeah, I actually got a storm growth lens finally. I finally managed to go one, but it was off camera sadly, because uh, it was when I was doing the, uh, the lodge stuff. So I didn't get that on camera, which I was kind of disappointed about. Um, I need to also craft some potions. Of course I can. What do I need to buy potions from you? I see. So I've got that. Let's see. Okay. Those are definitely worth it. They help me a lot. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and get all those every time. Uh, I prefer to make them, but like if I've got the spare shards and whatnot. What can I do for you, Burgrind? Mourn my poor departed luck. I finally met some Banuk keen to trade with Outlanders. Then they up and vanished. Three Banuk hunters rolled in a few days ago. No provisions, junk equipment, no idea how to strip a machine for parts. Asked me to outfit them for a long trip. And you know me, Aloy. I'm sentimental. So I did it on credit. And they haven't paid. Well, they tried. Just look what they did to this Thunderjaw heart. But that was ages ago. And I'm starting to worry about them. Tell me, Burgrind, are you worried about their well-being or your purse strings? A man can worry about two things. Uh-huh. What kind of deal was this, really? Just what I said. I was nothing but generous, Aloy. After mm. they dropped this ruined heart at my feet, I even gave them another chance. Sent them to fetch a few other parts I need. But you haven't seen them since. <laughs> Hide no hair. What do you mean they couldn't harvest parts? Not uncommon with Banuk. That's shaman's work, you see. The hunters take down the machines. The shamans slice them up. No shaman with these three. Just two youngsters sniping at each other. And that big fella standing there smiling. So if the Banuk don't usually hunt without a shaman, what's the story with these three? Mm, they weren't telling. But hammer to steel is not a happy story, whatever it is. You said they asked you to outfit them for a trip. A trip to where? Not sure. But I heard them chattering about the Sundom when they thought I wasn't listening. So they're leaving Banuk territory. Sensible behavior. 
Still, I get the sense this wasn't a sightseeing trip. They're running from something. Well, yeah, you. I'm not a debt collector, Bergrind. If I look for them, it'll be to make sure they're all right. Of course, of course. Fires of the Forge, forgive me. I actually like these idiots. The molten steel of youth and all that. But uh, if you do manage to find them, you could remind them of the deal we made. <laughs> a scorcher claw, a loop of sinew from a stalker, and a snap morphine. If they bring me those parts, their debt's paid. And then some. Just make sure they don't bust them up too badly. I'll... consider it. Last I saw them, they were heading northeast. Good machine hunting up that way. If you decide they're worth the trouble, you might look for them there. They might, yeah. Maybe. But now that I wanna... the reason I came down here yesterday was two reasons. One, I needed to stock up on more stuff to make more ammo, which I ran out of stuff for yesterday. Uh, this one takes some little wires, so that's why. Um... The other reason is because I think uh, Mr. Sela, 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 whoever her name is, is kind of weird somewhere. Stay out of our way. Take a bit. Oh, the light collectors up there. That's interesting. Let me go see what this person sells, because uh, I collected something the other day in a mission, and it uh, said something about pigment. Uh, what are you? <laughs> Outlanders. You spend a week in the cut, then go home to tell your friends how to are. Well, I mean, I don't know how long days are in this game, but I've been here for a little bit longer than a few days, at least. I don't know about a week. Um, okay. Again. How? Oh. I'm just trying to be like, how do I get up there? <laughs> Pigment collector, huh? What Pigment. does the outland? I'm looking for Skuli. You found her. Come, come. Let's get it over with. Here's Skuli. Quite a view you've got up here. It's a useful perspective. How fleeting we are when the world is so wide. From up here, you can see how the light paints across the land. Yeah, okay. No, Ever changing. It's a lesson. All our marks will pass. That outlook sounds a little depressing for a painter. Haven't met many artists, have you? Song's Edge needs new stories. I scrubbed its past off this rock to start anew. But a new start needs new colors. Fresh pigments, like none have seen. Aurea said you could help me get the Werak's attention. Aurea works in strange ways. But I've drunk paint to survive in a blizzard, so I'm one to talk. I'll get you noticed. If you bring me the pigments I need to complete my work. Aurea said you two were friends. I paint about what I feel now, not the way things used to be. Aurea understood. Most Banuk didn't. I would have been exiled if she hadn't had Aratok take me into their Werak. Have you always been a painter? I've always painted. But I wasn't a painter until I was driven out of Banur. Up there, the markings are eternal. They paint over the same lines, the same colors, over and over. As a child, I learned from copying them. As I grew, my heart sank at the familiarity. All of us Banuk might as well be trapped in glacier ice. We have the look of life, but never really moving. Trapped in time. Yeah. <laughs> um... Oh, come on. I can't buy that. I need goat skin and badger bin. Okay. Two ghost bins. Two ghost bins, two badger bins. Okay. Um. 
Yeah, I don't have stuff for that either. Okay, good. These pigments you want. Where should I look for them? Salts gather at the edges of geysers and hot pools. Crystals cling to the rocks and cliffs. The Banuk rock paintings are impressive, but, um... You want to know what they mean? That's not the right question, but... I'll answer anyway. Some are called to the machines. The sacred shapes you see on metal casings, or on a cauldron door. Do the machines listen to the call? I don't know. Others, like mine, are called to the tribe. You could say, inspiration, or prophecy. And sometimes even men listen, if the painting is loud enough. I don't know. I love her answer. I'll see what I can find for you. Seek out the vibrant ones. A spring of sudden color among snow or rock or metal. That's its own reward. But I'd reward you as well. Um, I'll tell you what I do want, lady. I want goat skins and badger bones so that I can get your map so I can find stuff. Just get down. I mean, I knew there had to be a way down, because it doesn't make much sense otherwise, but... What about you, Tensport? I'm complaining. Look, you're freezing, and I'm a Nora. When the old ones were fresh in their graves, one night was still thing. I guess it doesn't tell me where to go to actually find those things. This is find the young warrior hunters. Oh, I could do that. There's also something over there. There's a campfire. One of those stupid long leg things. You know what I still haven't killed though? I haven't killed a behemoth. I don't know what this symbol right here is. Um that's a charger. Luckily it was something, but it's not. What's this? Find an entrance. Water lock. Control tower. Who do deal with that? Over oh, is retreat. Okay, cool. Complete a trial at the hunting grounds. We are bandit camp. Okay, so bandit camp I have no way of going to. I don't have anything that's like super close to it, so I'm gonna go here first. So, I'm gonna go ahead and destroy this as I pass by. Why? Because I mean, why not? It's XP. And, um, I want to. Alright, so I need to go that way, and... I don't know what kind of plant that is, but I don't really care. I think I go back. <laughs> I keep forgetting this place is freaking geyser, dude. Oh, good. Hey, no, bad. Man, that didn't get what I needed, I think. Fresh as it comes. But that's still okay, because I mean, you can still make uh, food out of it. Or not food, potions. They would be Red Dead Redemption 2. But you guys still haven't seen any videos for it. I do have videos saved up from that, but I don't have the uh, record.
markers up here. That's, that's okay. Okay, go back to getting the goat. Go, go. go, go. Probably long gone. Go. I just want to kill you and take your skin or get your skin. I need badger better than skin. Doing. <laughs> oh yeah, I was going to go through that thing. I'll find a use Why, why travel when you can just, or why walk when you can just fast travel? I like the machine repair. If the Kree's not coming back, she'll be back. She never falters. But if she has, then I'm the one who can throw a spear the farthest. And I'm the one who can climb ice the fastest. You have passed one test. The next test is of silence. The next test is of silence. That's one way to tell them to shut up. <laughs> we all have jobs. Alrighty, so the way to the hunting ground is that way. Oh, I can target that now. That's cool. I go over here and I've never traveled the south and the great. I don't know if I'm gonna find that lady's pigment, so I might as well go up here. It's just rock faces, so like, so like, would there be any here? There's a person up there. Interesting. Banuk Villager! Okay, so I need to go all the way over here. I've already been up here once before. Um, I don't think I was able to do stuff last time though, so I don't know what to expect up here. I'd have to ditch something. Yeah, I'll take those. <laughs> I have to talk to... I like how they're everywhere. Oops. Um... This... Oh, so the other dude I talked to. Keeper, Aurea said that I should compete in the trials here. Aurea did? She's never sent someone before. And what is your reason for training? I would ask this of any Banuk who attempted the trials. I'm going to challenge Aratok to become chieftain of his work. Well, you better get started then. How do the trials work around here? There's no Karja medals. I had some, but I used them to patch up holes in my snow boots. Instead, 
You'll compete against the best times set by other Banuke hunters. To take second place, even third place, puts you among names of legend. What if I come in first? We'll see. I'm guessing you're not part of the Hunter's Lodge. Every tribe claims they were the first to have hunting grounds. And every tribe claims the Karja stole it from them. So who was the first? We were. And the Karja stole it from you. That's right. <laughs> Each trial is a challenge for survival. But I can tell you more. Okay, um, cheap them first. This trial is the most dangerous ordeal in the Snow Chance. While not all chieftains pass it. Only a chieftain may attempt it. So I can't do that one. Though. This trial is the most dangerous. Yeah. The control trial tests the hunter's ability to rein in the storm slinger's power. Only the wisest understand these shamanic weapons, and only the bravest wield them. Uh huh. I've never used it before. Okay. The Onslaught Trial challenges a hunter to withstand the ebb and flow of combat. Machines will be released into the arenas in waves. Pace yourself. Strategize. Only then will you be able to defeat them all without being overwhelmed. I like that. Use the rope to get to the arena and we'll start. We'll need a moment to pull the machines from the pass into the arenas. Then make your descent. Okay. Kill the wins and machines, start trials and growth. Oh, but it's not gonna show me what I'm fighting beforehand?
sniper. So far it's not that hard. I mean, I'm not gonna get the super best thing in time or whatever. Okay. Hey you. It's 
Third place on your first attempt. That's true. You shouldn't be underestimated. The control trial tests the Hunter's ability to rein in the Stormslinger's power. Only the wisest understand these shamanic weapons, and only the bravest wield them. We'll start when you hit the snow at the bottom of that rope. We'll okay. need a moment to pull the machines from the pass into the arenas. Then make your descent. I beat a champion of time. I should get the Marag talking. In fact, I'll bet my name's all over Song's Edge. Kill them with this storm slinger. I don't even know what a storm slinger is. Might be time to challenge our talk. Storm Slinger, but like, I don't know, like, does it just kill them once it gets the certain load? But. I beat a champion's time. That should get the Wear Act talking. In fact, I'll bet my name's all over Song's Edge. Might be time to challenge our talk. Let me have another go at that. I'm still counting. Wait, what? Very well, we'll. I died. You're not counting. The control try only the wiser. It begins after you descend. The we'll need a moment to pull. Okay, that Ravenger is my first. Oh my! <laughs> so to speak. Where are you, Ravenger?
in uh, over. <laughs> also, do I have... Okay. You didn't pass the trial this time. The control trial, only the wisest, and if you're prepared, we'll need a moment.
God, man. That is such a pain in the butt to use. What the hell? Go that way, thank you. That was actually pretty dang nice challenging. That was like, I mean, I know it's like the, the Hunter Lodge ones, and some of those were challenging too, but that was like, using an entirely new weapon was just out of my area. <laughs> Which I guess is why you have to strategize for it, but still. Okay. Hey you, lady. You have the third best time. Want to improve it? Right now. <laughs> this trial is the most dangerous. Yeah, you can't do that one up there. No more trials. Not yet. You can always come back. Yeah. Right, um. Now, what we can do is I can go back down. Song's Edge? What's at Song's Edge? Oh, can I challenge War Chief Dude? I am back down here. Let's see what, uh... My people have been telling tales of your accomplishments. Oh, cool. Seems you have taken a special interest in our stretch of snow outlander. Maybe. Yes. And apparently, this is the only way I'll get to see all of it. Is this a challenge? The work. You? <laughs> this must be a joke. It is not a joke, Eratok. Now I see. The Outlander's your pawn. Careful. And with you backing her claim, I have no choice but to accept. I expected better of you, sister. It was you who forbid me from Thunder's drum, brother. Brother and sister, this is a little more complicated than I thought. No, it's simple. You will meet me at the Frost Figures, and I'll put a quick end to this mockery. I suppose I owe you an explanation. Yeah, no shit. Yeah. I suppose you do. So, why didn't you tell me that you and Aratok are siblings? I thought I wouldn't have to. I'm surprised Aratok brought it up in front of a stranger. He must be very angry. I'm not always the best judge of people. I prefer the company of spirits. They're simply my own. I didn't want you to think of our pilgrimage as some sort of family squabble. It's much more important than that. Mm. It's bold, I'll give you that. Going after your own brother. He gave me no choice. He thinks I'm a child to be shoved to the back of the hunt. He would forbid me from my destiny. And yet... Part of me did it knowing he would forgive me, eventually. He always does. Family drama aside, what's this challenge meant to be anyway? You and Aratok will hunt machines with the Frost Figures. The victor will be the fastest. It won't be easy. Nothing about this has been so far. When you meet us at the starting point, I'll tell you more. It will be simpler to explain from the base of the hills. Aurea, it's not about who's related to who. I want to know what's inside Thunder's Drum. The spirit, the daemon, and how it all connects to the machines. But if we're gonna go through with this, I need you to be straight with me. I... underestimated you. And Aratok. I won't make 
make that mistake again. See you at the Frost figures then. That's not something I saw. So, today. off to risk my life in order to take charge of a new content band. Just what I always wanted. Frost figures, here I come. Alright everyone, gonna go ahead and end this episode here. As always, if you liked the episode, please do me a favor, smash that thumbs up button, also consider subscribing and ring the notification bell. If you didn't like it, then go ahead and leave a dislike, but instead of just disliking it, do me a favor, comment down below, make suggestions, ideas, things like that. Don't just dislike, because that literally doesn't help me at all, and I want to get better at what I'm doing, and hopefully you guys enjoy what I'm doing. So, see you guys in the next episode. Peace.